Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This is uh, lesson number six um, of HTML and today we're going to be talking about uh, programming tables. Uh, okay so let's get started shall we? First of all we'll open up uh, PSPAD which I've opened already and we need uh, a new file, a new... Okay first thing that we need to do is um, open up the table tag and the table tag is simple, a table and we open the table tag, I'm just going to zoom in so you can see the text a bit better and we'll just dump this. Okay, is uh, open the table tag and then we close the table tag. Okay, next thing um, we have to look at is doing um, a rows of rows and columns. So the way that we make a row first of all is the tag TR which stands for table row. So we've potentially now uh, made one row within our table. The way that we insert a column is by using the TD tag and we close the TD tag. So that now would be um, would be row 1 and column 1. Column 1. So and now if we want to make the second column we copy the um, TD or the column and we paste it. Now we've got row one, column two. And then we're gonna have four in total. So we paste it, and three, and four. Now this table now has one row and four columns. Now, if we want to make um, a second row, then what we simply gotta do is copy all of this information and make another row. So now this is row 2 okay and then column 1 column 2 column 3 column 4 um, once again so what we're going to do um, just to make it a, a nice square table is we're going to cut and paste another two rows so that's now got four rows and four columns so it's going to have 16 cells in total so if we just save save this out as table.html uh, we'll just come onto the desktop and open that up. Okay, now you can see uh, row one, column one, row one, uh, column one, column two, row one, column three, row one, column four. So it it doesn't look very readable at the moment, and you can't really see um, that it's a table. So what we're going to do is add a border to it, um, so we can read it just a little bit better. Now we talked about attributes before in other um, tutorials. Well, the table tag has um, a attribute of border. It has other attributes as well such as width and height, cell padding, cell spacing. So what we're going to do is give the table a border of 1. Okay and then we'll save this out, go back to Firefox, refresh it and as you can see now. So we have here would be the first TR, the table row and this is with inside the first TR we have the TD here which is the table data cell and then here is the second one here's the third and here's the fourth now we can format this table um, we can format the width first of all of the table by formatting the table tag itself so we, if we say uh, width equals uh, 400 and we can say this if it's better to define it as pixels because we can also um, say 400% but that would be a bit crazy um, on the screen because it would you would only then see a quarter of the screen uh, so best to define 400 pixels okay if we save this out go back now refresh and you can see it's 400 let's make it just a, a slightly we'll make it 700 just so we can see it a slight little bit better okay there we go so now that's 700 now what if we want to uh, make uh, each row um, larger as well now what we have to do now is we have to format um, each row basically and give it a height so we give the first um, cell within the first row um, we give it a height and that will then um, give the same height to the other cells within the same row it will not format the next row. The next row will stay the same. The width 
has already been declared within the table um, tag so these will inherit this width as well but they will not inherit the heights so okay let's give it a height of 100 don't have to put pixels but it's just good practice too okay we refresh it now it's 100 now let's say we want to make the second row uh, the height of 50 so let's copy this now we come down to the, the to the second row which is this one here okay the second TR tag and we paste it in with the uh, this the first uh, table data cell and we refresh it and as you can see let's change that to 50 so we can see a difference there we go so now we've formatted that and as you can see I've only formatted this cell here and this cell here the other cells inherit that size okay so that's something to remember you only need to uh, for the height you only need to basically define this one cell and the following other cells on the same row will inherit that attribute okay so now uh, what if we want to move this text within the center um, well that's easily done what we need to do is come to um, the, the cell itself and we align it which is simple the attribute is simply align and there's three parameters for this left center or right so we're going to align it center save this out and refresh and it goes center so now what we can also do is align vertically as well so we can put this text here in cell number two um, to the top or to the bottom or to the middle and they're the three parameters so we come to this one here and it's vertical line so V align and we're going to say to the top just um, to let you know that by default uh, the vertical align is set to a middle and the align is by default set to left so if you don't format anything that's what it will be by, by default so as you can see now um, the cell this is cell here we said we we're going to do this one so let's go back and actually do this one that's better there we go so this one's gone to the top and obviously for this one you would just put v align equals bottom okay and vice versa, vice versa for this one if you wanted it to align to the right then you put it to the right uh, and so on now we can also add uh, some padding as well for it which means we can push this text slightly a little bit in from the top and from the left from the right and from the bottom so it's not snug against the side and that basically is done within the table um, tag and we say cell padding equals and this is worked out in pixels so zero to however many pixels you want now 10 is predominantly normally uh, a good size we don't need to have the pixels in this so we'll refresh it and if you watch um, this one here and this one here you'll see it change there we go now it pushes pushes it in slightly this obviously makes the table um, a, a lot larger so it takes on 10 pixels here 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 so you have to take into account of making uh, your table smaller if you fit it into a certain box size um, okay and then what we can do is we can actually add some um, spacing between each cell which is simply done with cell spacing and we'll set that to 10 also and we refresh it and there we go now it sets some spacing um, okay uh, that's um, pretty much the basics of tables we're going to be using tables um, a, a lot more with that throughout these tutorials this was just covering uh, the basics of it get to grips with this and the next lesson uh, we're going to be covering um, more contact formula information which we'll be using a table as well to build this okay well thanks for listening my name is David Thorne um, visit the website www.thornwebdesign.de and uh, I'll see you for the next tutorial goodbye